Hi friends, I am Navshad, Mindbower Digital's Kotiyam Kollab. I am going to show you how to make a video digital projector high definition. We need to buy something from the market for making a projector. One magnifier lens. This lens is available in the local market. You should make it suitable for our projector. Cut it the handle and uh, use the lens only for our projector. Then we need a universal LED LCD board, a LCD panel, 7 inch LCD panel and a Fresnel lens 2 pieces and a flood lamp 100 watt or 50 watt then we can make the projector cabinet by wood you can see the pictures on the screen how I make the cabin for this LCD projector the measurement of this box is depends on the Fresnel lens we are using. Now the box is already finished. Then we can do other things needed for this. This is the 7 inch LCD panel. This panel is going to use in this projector we need to open this panel we are not using the panel in full we need only the display unit the glass crystal unit so we need to remove the backlight part of the display you just cut the edges very carefully and do not open the connection side slowly open the display maximum care should be taken for opening the display otherwise it, it will be broken This is the panel we are going to use in a frame which already done. See how I am fixing the panel in the frame and you can use masking tape, insulation tape or any material to fix the panel in the frame. That is all the frame is ok this panel should be connected to the LED LCD universal board for getting the picture on the panel ok this is the universal V59 board using in this projector it is just a television board this is the LVDS output and this keyboard and having a remote control for controlling the driver board this is called a driver board LED driver available in the market and all inputs are there VGA input audio video input USB input HDMI input all is available in this board we need to connect this universal board to the panel this is the socket to be connected like this see the photo picture of the connection now just check the connection clearly ok this is the connection of that LCD panel now we are going to start the 
projector assembly all material are ready this is the box which i made before see there is some tracks inside the box it is provided for fixing frictional lens led panel etc see this is the lens i already put in the box this movable compartment is for focusing the picture on wall okay this is the fresnel lens this is to be fixed in the space provided inside the box there is a racking system i already made inside you can see the white color inside that's the racks fix one of the fresnel lens in one of the racks okay this one okay another one fresnel lens to be taken and fix behind this fresnel lens both of them both of the fresnel lens are used for filtering the light and concentrate the light on the lcd panel then you make a sample frame for testing purpose this is a cartoon with a 7 inch cutting and a plastic printed paper on it and uh, fix in front of the fresnel lenses this is just for testing only we need to fix in this place there is already made lcd panel now it is for testing then this is a reflector used for reflecting the light mirror it is mirror glass only it is optional we can use it uh, or not use no problem it is only for reflecting more power more powerful uh, light will be come out the next is the flood lamp we can make the flood lamp at home with uh, 10 watt leds now i am using 9 pieces of 10 watt leds and uh, 12 volt 10 ampere adapter for light up or you can buy from outside a flood lamp 100 watt available or 50 watt available now you check how to fix the flood lamp behind the projector it is the fixing which i used okay now remove the lens compartment then we can see how the light come out see there is the picture on the plastic sheet we can see now for testing show a white paper in front of the projector and uh, focus the lens for the picture clearly shown on the white paper it is sure the picture will be shown on the white paper but small when the object is when the screen is far from the projector the picture will be big now the important thing the lcd panel already fixed in a frame and uh, make it beautiful with the black insulation tape this is the output of the lcd panel this is called lvds cable we now need to fix the lcd panel in front of the fresnel lens remove the plastic picture 
cartoon and uh, fix this LCD panel in the same place. It should be firmly fixed in front of the Fresnel lens. See, this is uh, fixed. You can see the LCD panel. Now, the next item is the universal board. This universal board is to be fixed in the top side of this box. There is a, there is a space provided for fixing this universal board. All inputs are there. We can fix audio, video, USB, HDMI, VGA. We can connect computer also in this project. Fix it in uh, this space and this screw. Now the project is almost finished. And uh, the remaining is to connect the LVDS cable from the LCD to the board. This is the driver board. LCD connection to be connected to the board. This is called LVDS cable. The backlight connection, no need to connect. This is the connection photograph. Now, we need to supply 12 volt 2 ampere adapter for the universal LCD board. Connect to the 12 volt supply and we can see there is a red light turn to green light that means the power on now the backlight show the picture in the LCD panel now we cannot see any picture in the LCD panel when the backlight coming the picture will be on see that is the picture blue blue back no signal logo you cannot see the picture on the LCD panel because there is a high brightness in the panel display this is ok there is a menu appearing on the screen we can adjust the menu brightness contrast and everything now the picture is ok then we can test with any other equipment from outside VCD, DVD player or computer or USB drive or HDMI input anything we can use with this LCD LBD bo LED board check the lens is fixed in front of the panel now again we can check with a white paper in front of the lens and focus the lens for the sharpness of picture it's ok when the wall or the displaying object is far from the projector the picture will be bigger and we need to focus according to the distance between the wall and the projector this is the audio video cable to be connect a DVD player now I am testing with a DVD player audio video input in the universal board is available you connect the AV cable on that socket then take a DVD player this I am using a Sony DVD player connect the audio video output in this cable video and audio left right power on the DVD and playback you can see the DVD display coming on the screen play the screen now the picture is running but you cannot see the picture because a high brightness picture this high brightness needed for getting the picture in a wall far distant from the projector cover with the lens and focus the lens now it is ok everything picture coming picture is running now once again we can check 
the picture on the white paper okay it is then we can turn the picture to the wall now it is time to test the picture on wall turn the projector in direction to the wall you provided and uh, all lights to be off for getting a clear picture on wall now it is focused to the wall power on the projector set the wall screen now i am fixing a temporary screen on the wall check there is 3 meter distance between the projector and the screen light off the video i am showing is dummy the copyright of another video so i didn't show you the original picture because of the copyright if anybody need to contact me call me at my phone number shown on this screen thank you for watching my video thank you very much